American Embassy. And they went to the American Embassy for a dinner reception, you know, black penning suits and all that hoo-ha. They went to a penning reception and were on the search. They found the wife with cocaine and marijuana. She was arrested. They raided her house and they found something like up to 5,000 pounds worth of heroin, cocaine and marijuana. 5,000 pounds worth in the billionaire's home. What happened? He went to court and the judge dismissed the case, gave him a caution because he said, in comparison to the billions of wealth that they have, we can consider the 5,000 pounds worth of drugs as personal supply, personal usage. You wouldn't believe that. We didn't see BBC running that story wall to wall. We didn't see Sky News or Fox News. They gave, hold up, because they realized his lawyer's petition saying, don't convict him because he does business. And if he's convicted, he won't be able to get a visa to travel to America. So they let him off. Fucking hell, you white people, you guys are good. You can get away with some real shit that we black people can't. You're no, we're all white working class people, you're right. <laughs> and I assume you're white working class and not white ruling elite. <laughs> white poor people, we fucked too. My friend Oldham, do you remember? Do you remember Major James Hewitt, Prince Harry's dad? Do you remember him? Major James Hewitt, Prince Harry's dad. Major James Hewitt, Prince Harry's dad, was on Fulham High Street, outside a restaurant, snorting cocaine off a table in public. Imagine, black people, they're in their house on the 20th floor of the North Peckham Housing Estate, behind closed doors, bars, barred up, in their own bedroom with the door locked, snorting a little coke and the door gets kicked off. Police raid them in their house. Here we have Major James Hewitt snorting cocaine off a table, restaurant table, outside Fulham High Street, arrested. And what happens to him? He's cautioned. We have Michael Barrymore. A man is found dead in his swimming pool with his anus ruptured. Are you hearing me? His anus blown to smithereens. He's found floating in the pool with cocaine in his system. Michael Barrymore is arrested, cautioned, and dismissed. You white people are fucking brilliant. Kate Moss. They filmed Kate Moss snorting cocaine. They give her another million pound modeling contract. We have Pete Doherty arrested about a thousand times with every drug known to man on his person and others that they haven't even discovered yet. He walked away with about a dozen cautions before they even sent him to jail for a week. Look at it! And now, imagine, back in the day you used to hear about drug, 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 drugs. Blacks, 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 yardies, yardies, yardies. But now that drugs are so saturated and you white people are the main perpetrators, there's not even a discussion about it in the media. Not even a discussion. The corruption of the media is, you would have had a white journalist writing for The Sun, snorting a line of cocaine for inspiration as he writes another article condemning cocaine and drugs and the black yardies. Yeah, these yardies, they bring in the drugs. It's corrupt. Our society is imploded. We can't trust anyone. Everything we've been told are lies. It's nonsense. I'm going to close the meeting. Sorry? Man, listen, this shit is fucked. <laughs> fucked. <laughs> fucked. My brothers, are there any questions before I close the meeting? I've been talking sense. You think I'm here to talk fucking nonsense? You didn't want to waste my time talking shit. Hey, there's a lot of crazy people. There are a lot of crazy people. You motherfuckers are crazy. You motherfuckers are crazy because you accept that shit. You buy into that nonsense every day. You live that reality. You buy into it. You look at these Paris Hilton, these Angelina Jolies, and you aspire to their way of life. You look at the Angelina Jolies on the front page of Hello, OK, Now. What the fuck has Paris Hilton done to be famous apart from get fucked? What's on her CV? What the fuck is she famous for? 
What has she done? What has she done? Why is she given so much media time? What has she done?